Good morning, everybody. <sighs> okay, a little update. This is what I'm going to give y'all. Um, I will go through the whole event tonight on Night Owls when we do our slumber party. But basically what happened was my son had what's called an instimmy heart attack Thursday night. And uh, I had to rush him to the ER where they immediately slapped like a nitro patch on his chest, um, some medication to reduce the pain of the heart. Um, and it's like in a paste form, it, it absorbed through the skin. So that was the first thing they did, followed up by EKGs, and they drew more blood out of him than I thought was in his body. Every time I turn around, somebody was coming in to draw more blood. <laughs> and they finally consented to let him come home last night. So he was there for right about, maybe about 22 hours. We were at the emergency room. Or they finally put him up in a regular room. and uh, But he was just like, I gotta go home. I can't relax. I, I just can't relax here, which I get it, you know, he's just, he just wasn't comfortable. So they let him sign himself out and he came home. So I'm having to keep an eye on him, make sure no certain things happen while he's home. You know, like the first 48 to 72 hours, they have me watching for certain signs and stuff. And so far he's doing okay. Um, I'm exhausted, as I'm sure most of you realize. I got maybe two hours worth of sleep between 4 o'clock in the morning, Friday morning, and 7 o'clock Friday morning when I got back up. And, uh, but he's, he's feeling better. He's still really kind of weak. Uh, we have to be very careful he doesn't overexert himself or get overheated or anything. Uh, I take him back to the doctor on Monday to follow up with some medications that they're going to try him on. Uh, they started to put a stent and then decided against it. They decided to, let's see if we can treat this with medication first. They'll do a stent as a last result if the medication doesn't seem to work scary. I mean, he just turned 40 in February, so, you know, he's still a fairly young man. He's in fairly good shape, you know, I mean, he's, it's not like he's, he's not like me, he's not overweight, you know, or, or very sedentary, you know, he's pretty active, and, uh, he's pretty good shape, uh, for a 40-year-old man, but, um, yeah, scared the bejesus out of me, I will admit. I, I just, I'm still, if I sit and think about it too hard, I get all just kind of freaked out about it all over again. Because, <laughs> like, that's my baby, you know, what can I say? Uh, but he's home. He's doing a little bit better. We're just taking it real easy. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick uh, update. I want to say a great big thank you to everybody who has reached out and sent me messages of encouragement and love that have sent healing and, and, and white light energy to my son and to me. It is so, so appreciated. I can't even begin to describe. When I start thinking about it, I start crying again. It's been overwhelming, the response. Um, I know uh, middle of the night, Thursday night, as we were, I had gone outside so I could text my brother and let him know what was happening. And uh, I was on the air with Helen, Irish Granny Tarot, and Denise Siegel when it happened. And so I had to like drop out on him instantly. And so Helen had texted me several times, you know, are you okay? Are you okay? What's going on? So, uh, we got on the phone and we talked. She talked with me for a while and kind of helped bring me down a little bit. So, Helen, thank you. 
sister of my heart. Oh my God, you, you don't know how much that meant to me that at 2 a.m. you were on the phone with me making me calm. That means a lot. And uh, I talked with Marina a few hours later, uh, Heart Center Tarot. She and I got on the phone and talked and Maria, Marina was there to, you know, encouragement and, and just comfort and just, uh, I really cannot say enough thank yous to those two lovely, lovely ladies for just being there for me. And then a little later, uh, Arthur called me and he and I talked for a while on the phone. He's gonna help me set up a GoFundMe. I, I hate to even ask about that because I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna have to cover expenses, medical expenses not covered by his insurance. And I just don't have that kind of money. I mean, who does, right? I mean, yeah, maybe Bill Gates does, but we don't. Um, so I'm going to get a GoFundMe set up. I'm going to try to get that set up today. And uh, I'm reading up on how to go about setting it up and everything. Like I said, Arthur's going to help me with that. And um, I had spoke with Linda G as well. And she was like, yeah, do the GoFundMe. Let, you know, make sure you send it out to all of us so we can spread the word and a couple of people have already made donations to my Venmo or my PayPal account. Thank you. That that really helps tremendously. You have no idea. Because it's not just all the expense of everything that's happened, but he can't go work now. And my son is, uh, you know, he's a musician and sound engineer. And so he's paid by the gig. So he doesn't, you know, it's not like he doesn't get sick leave or anything like that. If he doesn't work, he doesn't get paid. You know, it's very much like a contract worker. Um, and like I said, he's paid by the gig. So, uh, you know, he's definitely not able to work this weekend. We don't know if he can even attempt to try to go back next weekend. We'll have to see what his doctor says on Monday. Uh, maybe a few weeks before they let him go back to work. I don't know. He's hoping he can go back on next weekend because that's when he works. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We're just taking it a day at a time. So, you know, the money is a big help because it helps me put some money aside to start covering some of these expenses that aren't covered by his insurance and, uh, to kind of help fill in the gap of lost income because he's not able to go work and so uh, you know if, if if you're willing to, to you know if you've got a couple of bucks five bucks ten bucks twenty bucks whatever every little bit helps you know um, so like I said we're gonna get the GoFundMe I'm gonna try to get it up and posted tonight um, tomorrow at the absolute latest and get that done uh, I'll be on a live at 1 o'clock Central. Uh, I'm hosting Mr. Floyd Channeling. He's uh, a new channel I just discovered, and uh, he channels St. Germain. And he's a really nice guy. He's funny as hell. I really enjoy watching him, and I thought y'all would like to watch him too. So uh, I've got him coming on at 1 o'clock Central Time. And then, of course, the slumber party tonight at 11 o'clock p.m. Central Time uh, and uh, uh, where I'll go through everything that the doctor said, what exactly it happened and what caused it and all that kind of stuff and you know, we can talk about that and maybe, you know, give enough information to prevent anyone else from having this happen to them or to someone they love because yeah, that's that's terrifying and when it's your child I don't care how old he is he's still my baby he'll always be my baby and uh, yeah that that was scary that was that that really wrecked me when when he's coming out of his room clutching his chest saying I can't I can't catch my breath I can't I got this pain my arm is numb I was like oh my god 
So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for, for reaching out, for all the love that everyone has sent. Oh, my God, y'all, I can't. I get choked up whenever I think about it. Just all of the wonderful words of comfort and 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 love and encouragement that y'all have sent has just has been overwhelming. And I can't even begin to say thank you. It just doesn't feel adequate. I'm gonna start crying again. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. Anyway, I just got up shortly, a little bit ago, and I'm sitting down here on the patio trying to get my head wrapped around my day, get things planned out, what I need to do, and, and uh, I've got, you know, other stuff I need to get taken care of as well, so um, I will see y'all later today, and then again tonight, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone, just to everyone, y'all, y'all truly humble a person, the love and, and, and the caring in this community is truly overwhelming. It really, really is. And I just want to say thank you to everybody. And thank you to those who may be able to help contribute, you know, in the future. Um, and if you can't, you know, hey, I get it. <laughs> Times are rough right now, right? I mean, if you, if you can't give a couple bucks, then just share the GoFundMe get it out there and um, let people know what happens and, uh, I'm going to try to explain in the in the description of the GoFundMe what happened, how it happened what, what causes it, look at this, I'm crying um, and uh, yeah I'm kind of rambling right now, I'm still not awake all the way, I'm still tired as hell so <sighs> okay I'm going to say goodbye now, and I will see y'all in a few hours, and then again tonight. Y'all have a great day. Go hug your children. If they're not at your, if they're not at home with you, call them and tell them you love them. Go tell the people important to you how much they mean to them, because they could be gone that fast. And that was brought home to me really sharply this weekend. And, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye now before I start blubbering like a baby. And I will talk to y'all in a little while. Have a great day. I'll see y'all at 1. I'll see you again tonight at 11. And, uh, keep the faith, y'all. Divine Source is, is powerful. Spirit is, is so powerful. Thank you.